Okay, so I'm gonna fill you in for the YouTube people who are watching this. I just had to go through 20 minutes of troubleshooting. Uh, the audio was crackling, and then I reset, and then I unplugged and replugged my Elgato, and then the <laughs> then the audio was delayed, and so I unplugged and replugged the Elgato and reset. And then the audio was still delayed, and so I kept trying and restarting stream and blah 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 blah. And now we're finally back. <laughs> uh, so to to TLDR about what we're doing, we're going around to get stuff for the ship that Mid wants to build, the Enterprise. Uh, we did step one, which was to go get some Stardust, and now apparently we're going to a place where um, there's an unwanted visitor, and I'm guessing that means some kind of monster or beast. That we need to go slay to get the parts that we need, or we're we're, get, we're making the helm. All right, so we need to we need to go here then. Sheesh, I think I think after so long the audio is good. I'm begging for it to be good, cause I really can't take it. To be fair, we only it's only like 20 minutes of audio that's just like crackling. I don't know if I'll include it. I guess it's just. I guess it's just crackling, it's whatever, no, but like, it's just annoying to listen to. No. So I'm kind of just like, I don't know, but, I don't know, figure something out. It's not really much, the only thing we really, like, that was really missed in that whole thing was the conversation we had with Gav, which was just like, basically reminiscing that, like, how much time has passed since Sid has passed and we're Sid now, stuff like that, so I think it's okay to keep that part of the recording out. Or that part, that recording out, because there's just so much audio issues that it's actually hilarious. Alright, I'm deleting, yeah, I'm deleting this stuff. Alright. Okay. Let's go. Well, let's go to the place that, uh... Ambrosia won't help me here. Apparently has an unwanted visitor. Let's go, let's go uh, meet this unwanted visitor. Sorry, I was like, I was getting a message. I'm getting the okay from OMG, so... On the plus side, if audio gets delayed... Well, any further, I can just post... Edit it post, but also... Let's go. That means I would have to, for stream, I would have to... Fiddle with the Elgato again. I don't know why it does this. It's so random. I, I should look up something to see if it's, like, to fix it. It's so random too. I don't know. Time to fight. What do I even want to level up next in my upgrades actually? My abilities. I don't even know. We'll figure it out. Yo, what's up, gang? I 
They followed me all the way out here, bro. Said, um, thanks so much for coming. The uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about. I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? Of course, I'll be right back. This creature probably won't even be that big of a deal, I bet. Well, you know, it, I say that, but that's only because I'm him, you know, I'm just that guy. This must be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. I like fighting this guy. It's not because he's hard or anything, it's just because he's kind of boring. Alright, burn now. Holy crap, that was so cool. I wish the unwanted was wanted visitor was a bit more uh, crazy, though. Things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. I wonder what Josh was up to. Alright. Uh, I guess we go back to the hideout and Oh wait. Good boy. Good boy. Back to the hideaway we go. I wish I didn't see this tweet. You know what? I'm just gonna leave that alone. Good. 
In very interesting uh, tier list there, Polygon. Just gonna leave that. I'm just gonna leave that one alone. Oh yeah, before I right, one. You have stuff for Welcome me. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. All yours. Come T again. I, think you... I may have more for ya. I'll be right there mid. I gotta go upgrade my stuff from uh, from Blackthorn. Finally. I want a new sword too. This one's looking pretty yeah, I'm pretty old. I want a new looking sword. I wonder if there's tra transmog eventually. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter for uh, when it's just Sorry, a sword. I still don't have it. I need a dragon's talon. Man. Anything else? I thought I got it. It's not. Oh, yeah, I should probably save real quick. I don't know when the last time I saved was. I said, "Huh, OMG, what happened?" Who, who even did Sid have this see. child with? Nah, I think about it. Mid, Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right, the shielding. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prison for the dragon's so breath silently. that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Harpocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? Right away. Alright, to Hippocrates we go. I'm not walking all the way back there. I am teleporting. Honestly, this is my biggest complaint. How slow you walk around this place. This is my biggest complaint. My second complaint would be the camera. At some times. At some points, the camera is just kind of... Eh. Alright. Hippocrates, do you have a moment? For you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? For a mithril engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution. That's cap or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? 
Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. But Pardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelus complains that without a constant supply of... Pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragon fire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection mid requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Hippocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. Alright, honeydew it is. We need honeydew. Jill! Oh my gosh, Jill. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company, too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. All right, well. So, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? Oh, I have to decide? Who do you think? Very well. So then, what do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very... edible. I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Is that so? I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. I will. Until then. You two enjoy yourselves. You too, Talia. It's like we're on fetch quest freaking I don't know fetch quest duty or stuff and no I did not like all the now that, now that the cutscenes are done I did not like all the ending walking and endwalker if I could have flown I would have flew the only time the walking and endwalker nice meant job. something was at the very last part of the game them nice and I won't have you spoiling another catch those pepio nuts? You can never tell. How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. 
Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients each. All right. What am I looking for? How about you look for the pepio nuts and some garlic? I'll find the other things we need. We can meet by the gate when we're finished. interest you in today. I hope it's to your liking. You're always welcome here in Lost Wing. All anyone ever wants anymore. How the hell is anyone supposed to afford that price? There's talk. Welcome, welcome. Just buy it, Lamel. Afford the price, just get the thing. Oh, no, it wasn't you. There was someone else. Who was it? You. Oi, don't touch anything. Go on. Take it. That's everything. Let's see how Jill's getting on. Jill. <gasps> did you find everything? I did. Here. Why are you mod checking OMG? What happened? Garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates to somehow turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool. But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? Yes, 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 yes. Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here reminds me of when we were children. Do you remember walking down Market Street in Rosalith, taking in the sights and smells? <laughs> how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics? Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go racing away and we'd have to go running after him. We wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? Was there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Well, sort of. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. I would. Thank you. And I saw some bread. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalind used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry cured ham and it was just. Oh. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Sorry. It's just. Oh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again being here with you. You know what? I didn't hear that. Live. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? No. No, Jill. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. When we can live on our own terms. I hope so. Thank you, Clive. Well, I suppose we best be getting back. I need to give these ingredients to Harpocrates and Talia. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take care. Hi, I, I don't understand you how many times I have to keep telling you. We're just back, okay? We are back. We're so back. 
that's how back. That's how back we are. We're so back. I don't, I don't understand why you don't understand, bro. We're just back. Socrates is getting on with the moon dew. In other news, chat, I finally found a new, uh, new, new, uh, series to start reading, and it's called, uh, Survival of a Sword King. I forget. Actually, wow. I actually forgot the name. Hold up. Literally reading it right now. Stor uh, Survival Story of a Sword King. Survival Story of a Sword King in a Fantasy World. That's what I started reading. It's really good. Good. Am I enjoying the game so far? What am I, like, 8, 10 hours in? I love this game, dude. This is easily, like, top 3 Final Fantasy games for me. Easily. Easily. How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. Now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in Gosh, my time. Her, her fit is so cool. I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway. Under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill. Would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. I think definitely one of my playthroughs, I'm going to play with like a Japanese audio because I want to hear the JP voices. Oh, and Clive, thank you. <laughs> it was nice just being with you. <laughs> It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. See, you get it, 4D. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other, followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. Why is Final Fantasy consistently coming out with baddies, bro? Dude, I, I'm okay. Okay, so I'm watching this other streamer play the game. Their name is Aru. Um, and it's like I'm watching their. Well, I better go and give Mid the good news. Dude, there then. are a lot of people in her chat that just straight up, like, just straight up are down bad for Annabella of all characters, bro. Like the bare minimum. The bare minimum. Annabella isn't even that good. Isn't she is literally like the default character in your, in like a created character. Annabella, bro, nah. Like you have Tar, you have Taria, you have you have Benedicta. Like Benedict is evil too, but like nowhere, also nowhere near as evil as as a uh, as Annabella. You got Benedicta. You got Jill. Like you've got so many care, you got you got those three right there, and the the one that you choose to be down bad for, is, is Annabella, bro? Nah, not a good look for you. Like just not a good look for you at all. You have so many good options. Actually, just not even so many. Three good options. What happened? Man, shit. <laughs> I mean, if you roll that way, then sure. But you can't, like, yeah, no, there's just no. Like, Benedicta, like, yeah, she was, a, uh, she was, like, kind of, like, bad and stuff. Like, she did a, a couple, like, she did some bad things for sure. But, like, <laughs> Annabelle is just, like, essentially just straight up racist. And like the mo I don't even know what the word is. 
she she's like one of the people who only cares about their bloodline. It's just it's so it's so weird, bro. How do you fall? How do you get down bad? And she's not even like that good looking either. She's not. She's like average. English VA for Benedicta. Yeah, true. Sorry to keep you waiting, mid. But you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat. A coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Now, right, then, certainly there isn't any more... All these bits together. To the Black Hammer! Certainly there isn't any more fetch quests that I have to do, right? You wouldn't do that to me, right? <laughs> right, mid? Mid? Mid, please don't make me go on more fetch quest stuff. You know, when I go into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, please. not thermal bleeding didgeridoo dars. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. All right. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is going to require some precision wallabing. <laughs> it was so weird hearing her laugh at that, but her mouth not move like at all. <laughs> some time later. the heck is that? Oh, there's one. Of whatever that is. There should be the gang need to go it's talk finished. with the Yakuza devs about mouth finished. movements during conversations. I mean, for the most part, it's fine. Like... I don't even mind, for instance, I don't even mind, like, how it is normally with these type of cutscenes right here. Like, I think it's just, it, it adds, like, it's just, it has, like, a Final Fantasy charm that I've just gotten used to. It's just, sometimes, like, that one moment, they just don't react. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. Haha, <laughs> you're not gonna have me. Sorry. Uh, wait. Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines, and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean... <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Thank... Thank... The Founder. My sight. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? Don't make me go and do all that again. Alright, well, now what? What's the matter? Nothing. Just daydreaming. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst, and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail a border by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? All right. The mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans. I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... 
You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh huh. She was building a ship. All right. I don't know why I groaned at that, but I just saw a oh, side quest and just like. Astrid, we'd finished sending half the hideaway troops in across the twins, as she. I swear that girl'd do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that, in those words. She. Did, yes. Clive. Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. Wait, why? Why, though? Just the man to help me out of a bit of bother, if you remind him. Let's hear it. Well, it's about this alembic the chief's got me making. Lovely bit of kit, it is. Bung in a solution you want split in, and it will separate it out, just like that. Problem is, it won't always get rid of all the impurities. And with some of the stuff we need it for, that ain't good enough, which is why. I've been looking for something to filter the liquid we'll be cooking off. And that's where I was hoping you could help me out. Sure. I imagine Ty could get some use out of this alembic too. Distilling medicines and the like. All right. Why not? Proper job! So what exactly do you need for this filter? Nothing but bomb ash will do, says the chief. Gave me a sample she'd obtained from the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. You pour the blackest blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. So, I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get hold of some. And do you know what I found out? It's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind when they die, see? I take it that's where I come in. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. I, I, I saw a billet on the hunt board for one just the other day. Would have gone myself, but, well, fighting dirty great balls of flame isn't exactly my forte. You, on the other hand. All right. I'll see what I can do. Thank you kindly. And, and a good hunting, eh? Wait, did the hunt board update then? It didn't seem like it. Oh, it definitely did. I guess it did. All right. Well, time to go figure out where it is and then get the hunt board. Or get the get the hunt because I actually like doing the hunts. Oh yeah, I forget. Let me freaking that. Wait. Is that progresses the story? Wait. I went the wrong way. Catch your death. Oh, hey, there's a chest. I've never been up here. Excuse me. I just wish you could lo go a bit faster. This is, like, the same way I felt when, like, in 14, where you can't, like mount in like city places or whatever you have to walk all the way there but then i just used aetherite tech so it doesn't 
Uh, Alright, where's the bomb at? The bomb king is the croc and Sambrek. Alright. It told me she was building a ship. Is that the thing Tom's helped to build? Obelith, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a bunch. Going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for ya. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. Uh oh And you're here now. Thank you, Obelith. Don't mention it. Alright, what's, what's the heading, Uncle? Yeah, what letter do you got for me? My dear boy, my journey to Canver has been a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only get, agreed to share the continents of his strongbox with us, but his considerable knowledge of the going goings on in the free cities by which I learned of the endeavors of a certain young friend of yours. Though I though I for I for one believe Miss Telemon's project to be quite the valiant enterprise. I doubt the Can Canverian authorities will take kindly to the unauthorized use of their docky uh, dockyards no matter how deserted, and if rumor has already reached my friend, it may not be long before the guildmasters are rapping at our door. Which is why I pen you this note. I would like to borrow your man Gav for a moon or two, that he might keep a watch on those who might mean our little fellowship ill, and warn us of any impending attack. I trust that you will give this proposal your full consideration. Oh, so that's why she's doing it. Her. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Med. All right, Gav. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset. Yes, that's exactly what she did. Totally clueless. Well, nothing we can do about it now. What do you mean? The next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Got to admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Oh, we're going to the old hideaway? Lord Rosfield of the Seven High House is waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure we'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Come on, it's Jill. Don't even joke like that. Ah, uh, well, shit. Oh, guess I'm gonna have to do that side quest later. Wait, there's another one? I missed another one? Where? Okay, we'll be back for that. Or I could just wait until we get to a point where it's like, uh, yeah, this is a pivotal moment in the story. And then, uh, just do them all then. Ah, oh, so they buried all of them here. Sid, I remember what you told me, but if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend, 
Hugo Kuka is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. Wait a minute, that's that's not true. We've so literally seen the Phoenix we have the chance. Yes. <laughs> Slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? No metric, I'm lying. Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it was never as bad as this. I know. The blind marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Goots. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> you letting me go with them? Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> <sighs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants oh. Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass, and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky Good, than shooting at the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things, and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Jeez. Get off, poor fingers! <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. Yes, she is. And Gav. Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? Did you see that, Sid? Your protégé's making a proper little outlaw of himself. I can do the side quest now, oh my gosh! Wait, no I can't. I go back to the hideaway. 
and now I'm just going. I, I just don't want to go back. I want to keep doing story. Best trio back together again. Onward. How are you feeling? Plus, how would you go? This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass. And all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Yeah, you're probably right. You deserve a rest. Oh yeah, that's right, I can just pick up quests. Come on. Faster. So, here's what I, I've basically told myself, right? All of these quests, the regular marked quests think? like this, Thanks, girl. I do so not care about alive. the cutscenes the first time through. I do not care about these ones. The only ones I care to pay attention to are the plus one are the plus ones. The only ones I care to oh, pay attention good. to. So I skip the cutscenes for these. I skip the dialogue uh, on my first playthrough. On my second playthrough, uh, or second or either third, I'll pay attention to them. But uh, right now, I just don't really care. So we're doing MSQ. Run like the wind. I'm not sure I trust those two. I walk up. I press oh, Rising Phoenix. I walk away. Typical skipper. Take care of them. Silence, OMG. <laughs> Look lively, you lot. Guests. Yeah, we do. These must be our bandits. Come on. See it. Die. Oh, ugh. Nice backflip, turtle. Nice style, style points. Let's go. That's our boy. 
That's them dealt with. No. Where's that cart? Let's check another people. That was the easiest side quest on my way to the main quest I think I've ever done in my life. Huh. Probably not gonna happen again. <laughs> Alright, well. Oh. Look, where the fuck? Did I really just Come not on. see you in front of me there? Ah, oh, whatever. Foster. I see the Dalnecks lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. Don't say that, Clive. It's bad luck. On the other side. Be safe. Walks up. Presses flames of rebirth. this up here oh my gosh this place looks just like Uda it looks like Denlin oh wow the final sin where the heck was this so this is a Mechas the land of the gods it's even more impressive than I imagined I remember being captivated by the story as a child. I'm captivated long, by you. Long ago, I mean, what? Man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in Paris. Curses? To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <sighs> Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. Clive? 
something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. Uh, usually when they say nothing is wrong, something's wrong. Uh-oh. Back in the Empire and it's raining. It's not a good... It's not a good... Uh-oh. I see the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. But I why? Have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambre. She's not even doing anything. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. The fact that this boy says and I can nothing. Think of none better suited to the task. He doesn't do anything. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. Uh oh. The emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieger made flesh. What? The fuck are you saying? Nothing has even changed. Chester was convinced to surrender his throne to the beloved son, anointing him. What the fuck? Announcing him the latest in the long line of earthly incarnations of Grieger. State of religion of the Holy Empire of Sambrek, whose followers worship the goddess Grieger as the one true deity. At the church's head stands the Holy Emperor, voted into office by his fellow cardinals, and supposedly they're equal, though this, this is widely recognized to be a con, uh, convenient fiction, to be a convenient fiction. The followers of the Grieger worship dragons as sacred servants of their goddess, and since the founding days of the Empire have both doted and depended upon them. So, he thinks this kid is an incarnation of their the, the the god that they worship. Okay. What the fuck? Return to your camp, Dion. And ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. 4D, shut the fuck Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly? The path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. This kid is annoying me. I do me. owe Annabella thanks. Oh my god, dude, get her all, all my, every single time. I just don't want to play the game anymore when she's on the screen. I can't, I can't take it. I can't, I don't like this character. I hate her. I hate her. I don't think I've hated a character as much as I've hated this character in a very long time. Oh my god, she's garbage.
No, don't say, don't even say, don't even joke about that, Forty. She's the, she's the bare minimum. Me of Mid is too generous for this character. Truths regarding the nature of nation, of rulers, and of the divine. You would trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable oh servant. Shut up, oh, man. Uh... I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Oh my god. I'm gonna Come, smack your both ruins. of you. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. Oh my gosh, he They're talks. So boring. I'm hungry, father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Duty left. Go beat her up. Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. Shut the fuck up. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher. Lest your impure blood Dion, just just transform. Do it, do it. I won't tell do anyone. You know of my blood. Transform right here in this room. I won't tell anyone. Chat won't tell anyone. Go ahead, do it. Oh my god! Every time I see her face, I just. I the just wanna I just to just mm. we just need to hug the coast. So annoying. Four D, you're off the goop right now, bro. And I know exactly why you're doing it. And congrats, it's working. Ready go. Yeah, Danko, after like twenty minutes of troubleshooting it like it worked. Finally, I think I don't know. Chat hasn't told me that the audio or anything is is crazy. So. I love being over dramatic for two enemies. Come on. Yeah. Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinsight. His troops are well-trained and increasingly battle-hardened. But it's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. Yep, that's pretty true. Be safe. Hey you, come here. Very well. You know how many people I've actually watched like just never do the the precision thing right with the gauge at all. I've watched a lot of people do that. Dang, it really is made by the say <laughs> 14 players really do love this game. They don't read the tooltips. <laughs> B more was doing that, be more goofy off. Uh. Did he ever figure it out? I don't know if he beat the game. He said he wanted to beat the game because he was seeing a lot of tweets about it uh, on Twitter. Uh. 
just the other one. They did nothing? Hey, they started the battle music. I don't it wasn't my fault. I didn't want to fight them. They started the battle music, not me. He asked chat about it. Oh my gosh. Read the tooltips. Yes. It literally even gives you a visual demonstration. <laughs> That's it. Not a good look, B more. Common B more. <laughs> I wonder how B more's doing. To be, uh, to be fair, there are a lot of streams I just haven't been in because I'm trying to play this game. Or I haven't finished the game yet. I have been watching others play though. Lifei just started and uh... He's uh... I think uh, he's not like halfway through but he's, he's a decent chunk. I forgot what he just finished. I think he just finished the Ifrit confrontation. Uh, what is it where you get your powers and stuff? Hey guys, what's up? There are no the Bocklid Markets. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying too. Not being able to sprint in, the, in like towns like this is so, so very annoying. What are you looking for? I want a new sword, is what I'm looking for. You know, I have yet to use an elixir at all in this game. I might change when I get on when I beat the game, but who knows. Wait, no, there's a path over here, which means there could be something. There could be a chest. Ah, oh, Chocobo. Hi. Goodbye. You can't fool me, game. I know your ways. I've played Final Fantasy games before. Yes, there we go. I hear the brothers found another victim. The brothers. I believe it, all right. What the heck are the brothers? Alright. Let me stop the recording here, actually.